So Apple is finally officially joining the AI arms race, and it's going to be insane. In the AI world, Apple hasn't been as involved as companies like Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI. While these companies have launched AI products such as ChatGPT, Google Bard, and Microsoft Bing Chat, Apple has focused on enhancing its current AI features like Siri, Photos, and AutoCorrect. However, this is changing. A recent report from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, a trusted source for Apple News, says Apple plans to use its own generative AI in all its devices and services. The company has been working on its own LLM framework called Ajax since 2022, which is built on top of Google's Jax machine learning framework and runs on Google Cloud servers. Ajax is said to be more capable than the previous generation of ChatGPT 3.5, Apple has also developed an internal chatbot that some engineers call Apple GPT, which runs on Ajax and is used for product prototyping. The company is reportedly spending $1 billion per year on developing its generative AI products. That's a huge amount of money, even for a company as rich as Apple. It shows how serious Apple is about catching up with its competitors in the AI domain. Currently, the AI project is guided by three top Apple executives. John G. N. Andrea, the head of machine learning and AI strategy at Apple, is in charge of the team developing the core technology for AI. His team is also working on enhancing Siri, Apple's digital assistant, with this new AI. Craig Federighi, the head of software engineering at Apple, is focusing on integrating AI features into the iOS operating system. His team's efforts will also ensure AI is well integrated with apps like Siri, Messaging, and Xcode. Eddie Q, in charge of internet software and services, has a team working on adding AI capabilities to various apps. Bloomberg mentions that this includes apps like Music, Pages, Keynote, and those used for customer service. What does this mean for you as an Apple user? It means exciting updates and improvements in your favorite Apple apps are on the horizon. Here's what to look forward to. When it comes to Siri, Apple's voice assistant available on all their devices, it's already smart thanks to AI and machine learning. With generative AI, Siri could become even more intelligent and conversational. You could ask Siri any question and receive a natural, relevant answer. It could also make personalized music playlists for you based on your feelings and likes. Even making GIFs or memes from your photos or videos could be possible. Then there's messages. Apple's app for texting, calling, and more. Generative AI could enhance it by suggesting possible replies or reactions, depending on the chat. It might even craft personalized stickers or emojis reflecting your facial expressions or tastes. Lastly, let's talk about Apple Music, their music streaming platform. With generative AI, it could make playlists automatically for you, considering your past song choices or current mood. It might also suggest fresh tracks or artists that match your musical preferences. Generative AI can be used in many of Apple's software, including Pages, Keynote, Xcode, and customer service apps. But there's a big question about how Apple will implement generative AI across its devices and services. Experts are discussing two main methods, on-device AI and cloud-based AI. With on-device AI, the AI works directly on your device not sending data to the cloud. This approach is good for privacy, security, saving data usage, and battery life. But it might not be as powerful because of the device's hardware limitations. On the other hand, cloud-based AI processes the AI on remote servers. This means data is exchanged between your device and these servers. This method can be more powerful and can be updated faster. But it might raise questions about privacy, security, and could use more data and battery. Apple values user privacy and security, so many of its current AI features work on device. However, generative AI needs a lot of hardware and data, which is why many companies use the cloud-based approach. It's unclear what Apple will choose, staying with on-device AI, moving to cloud-based, or combining both. Apple hasn't shared its generative AI plans, but we can be sure that Apple will aim to give users the best experience while keeping their privacy and security in mind. Apple has a history of waiting until it has a robust and polished technology before entering the market. That's why Apple often launches its products later than its competitors, but also delivers a superior quality and design. We can expect the same thing with generative AI. Apple may not be the first to launch a generative AI product, but it may be the best. 
All right, I hope you found this video informative. Please like and subscribe for more tech and AI content. Share your views on Apple's AI strategy and the generative AI features you'd want in Apple devices and services in the comments. I appreciate your feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.